report to him. Will there ever come a time when the people of Skyrim no longer need our services? I think not. There you are. Took Stand your me, sweet brother. time dealing with Cicero, eh? Now let's get down to business. Astrid told you about the gourmet, I hope. Right then. Tell me, sister. Are the stories true? There you are. Took your sweet... Quite but so. We... But first, you'll need to learn who he is. Assuming, of course, that the gourmet actually is a he. Could be a woman, for all we know. How a dread father guides me. Therefore, failure is an impossibility. Don't be so petulant. In my uh, investigations, I came upon this. It's a copy of the gourmet's cookbook. <laughs> but not just any copy. It's signed, you see. Seems to be a message from the gourmet to one Anton Varan. I've tracked Varan to the keep at Markov. It would seem he's the cook. I believe so. Therefore, you are to obtain that information from Varan. Who the gourmet really is and where he can be found. Oh, and when you're done with Varan, kill him. Loose ends and all that. Next, you'll have to... Are you still paying attention? Huh. As I was saying, you'll need to kill the gourmet, of course. But what's more, you'll need to get his writ of passage so you can take his place. Oh, and if you can, hide his body. The longer it takes for anyone else to determine his real identity, the better. Now off with you. Remember, the Markov Keep. That's where we find and tidy ass. Probably could have all the gourmet's recipes as we off. to work or Anton will rip my head off. Yes, yes, for the hundredth time. I am a Breton. I was born in High Rock. Came here. I am not a rich man. 
Yes, yes, for the hundredth time. I am a Breton. I was born in High Rock, and then I came here. I am not a rich man. Yes, yes, for the hundredth time. I am a Breton. I was born in High Rock, and then I came here. Don't mind the dogs. Not they get anxious Richmond. when they haven't had dinner. I have to work, or Anton will rip my head off. Yes, yes, for the hundredth time, I am a Breton. Who are you? What do you want? The... the gourmet? Never. I don't know what led you here, but nothing will betray my trust. I'll take the secret of the gourmet's identity to my grave. The Dark Brotherhood? Now, now, wait a minute. Let's not get hasty. I mean, surely my friend wouldn't want me to endanger my own life, right? Look. His name is Balagor Gronolob. He's an orc. The Gourmet's an orc. He's staying at the Night Gate Inn. That's all I know. Now, now you'll let me go, right? Okay, all right. Wonderful. You're welcome. I'll just be on my way then.
whatever it is, I'm sure I can't be of help. I'm just here on holiday. I quit. Whatever it is, or may, why I, uh, oh dear, you're going to kill me now, aren't you? Prodigal murderer ri So I gathered. It seems a certain orc has disappeared. Which means you not only killed the gourmet, but disposed of the body as well. Oh, you've got the writ of passage too, I see. Splendid. Splendid! Ah, and word has come in from Markarth that the Keep's cook has met an untimely demise. You performed your duties to the letter. <laughs> I was wrong about you. I see that now. Maybe we all were. Here's your payment. And a little something else as well. From me. Consider it my way of apologizing. For being so damn curmudgeonly. It's called the Night Weaver's Band. I wore this for years. I want you to have it now. It'll give your magic and sneakiness some much-needed oomph. Now, you'd better get a move on and see Astrid. It's time. Time for the final stage of this grand and glorious operation. <laughs> <laughs> 